thinking about launching your home bakery soon, or maybe you've started recently, watch this video because I'm gonna be sharing three things I wish I knew before I started my home bakery. If you're new here to the channel, I'm Amanda and I help home bakers market and grow their bakeries. If you want more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Also, if you wanna connect with me, make sure to send me a DM on Instagram after you watch this because that is my favorite place to hang out. All right, so if you are in the beginning stages of your bakery and you're feeling super overwhelmed and alone, I totally understand because I've been there. When I first started, I didn't really have a community of other bakers I could talk to and no one to guide me or point me down the right path. I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm happy I went through them because now I can share with you all what I've learned. So when I look back on my own journey, three things come to mind that I wanna share and remind you. Number one, you don't have to say yes to everyone, including friends and family. It is so normal to wanna say yes to every single order and request that comes your way. I remember this being really frustrating for me in the beginning of my cake business because I wanted to develop a signature menu and really learn more about the style of cakes that I wanted to create. But many of the requests from friends and family were not aligned with that vision. That meant if I said yes to these orders, I was potentially saying no or not having enough time to work on orders with dream customers or have the time to perfect the styles, designs, and recipes that I wanted to perfect. Which brings me to my second tip, have a specialty or a signature menu. Having a specialty helps you be known for something and it helps you stand out from all the other local bakers in your area. When you have a signature menu, this helps avoid all of that back and forth communication with customers asking you what you offer. You can simply just show them your signature menu and they'll know what's available. It also helps you organize and batch work very easily because you know everything that you're offering. When I first started, I said yes to every single order and it was so overwhelming having to get ingredients find the time to practice new recipes. And it was just a lot because I was juggling my full-time day job. It just made me feel like I wasn't providing my best work when I was rushing through the process and not having the time to perfect my recipes. And just to be clear, you can always change and edit your signature menu and your specialty as you learn to fine tune your skills. The last thing I wish I knew before I started my home bakery, an order is not finalized until at least a deposit is paid. I remember I would spend so much time talking to people about their order and start prepping for it only for them to cancel on me last minute. Because I didn't have a deposit secured, I really was wasting my time and efforts. Okay, so those were three things that I wish I knew before starting my home bakery. To recap, it was number one, you don't have to say yes to everyone. Number two, have a specialty and a signature menu. And number three, don't confirm an order until at least a deposit is paid. Let me know in the comments, were these tips helpful to you? If you're just starting your bakery, let me know as well because I'd love to cheer you on and celebrate you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and check out all of my other videos and resources linked below.